All right, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about graphing vertical and horizontal lines. Vertical lines, straight up and down. Horizontal lines, straight left to right. Okay? We have been graphing slope-intercept equations, and this is one more thing in the slope-intercept equation, or one more line that you haven't learned how to graph that we're going to learn today. Vertical and horizontal lines, very easy to do, but sometimes they get a little bit confusing. So what I'd like you to do on your paper, it's going to take about a half a sheet of paper. I want three square boxes going down the side and three rectangular boxes right next to them. And then three square boxes going on the bottom and three rectangular boxes below them. And then one coordinate plane from negative three to positive three and another coordinate plane, negative three to positive three on your paper. So if you want to wait and watch how I do this, and then you can pause it at the end and fill it in. I think that's best because you can watch it and then repeat it. Again, I'm going to have a lot of different colors because I know the color works. It helps out. All right, so let's get to it. Vertical and horizontal lines. There is this uh, phrase that we're going to use a lot, and it's called vux hoy. Vux hoy with a V and an H. So in the first box, vux. And what that stands for is your vertical line has got an undefined slope, and the equation is always x equals a number. So we'll say x equals 2. So again, it's a vertical line. The undefined slope, undefined slope are the ones that are straight up and down. And the equation are always x equals 2. So that's our vux. Okay? The hoy is going to go down here. And h, o, y. Now, if the v stood for vertical, your h is going to stand for horizontal. If we had the u for the undefined slope, this O is going to stand for your zero slope. And if the equations over here were always x equals a number, the equation over here is going to be y equals a number. And I'm going to say y equals positive 3. Okay? So, vux hoy. So let's go to one of our examples. The first example that we're going to do is we're going to talk about vux. And the equation we're going to use is x equals 2. Now, my question is, where does x equal 2? Well, if I plot a point x equals 2, it would be right there. And that point is 2 comma 0. And I would say, what other points do x equal 2? So I could say 2 comma 1. I could say 2 comma 2. I could say 2 comma negative 1. And let's plot those points because x equals 2 in all of them. 2 comma negative 1, right there. 2 comma 1, right there. 2 comma 2, right there. And if I connect those dots, boom, we have the line that represents the equation x equals 2. Undefined slope, and it goes through x equals 2. And that's it. That's the basic comprehension of the vertical line. Let's move on to our horizontal line. Horizontal line, zero slope, y equals 3. And again, we're going to use this equation. So y equals 3. Where does y equal 3? Well, y equals 3 up here. Where else would y equal 3? So that point is 0, 3. Where else would y equals 3? Well, 1, 3, 2, 3 negative 1 comma 3 so again let's plot those points okay negative 1 3 right there 1 3 right there 2 3 right there and again if we connect those dots we get our horizontal line with a zero slope and it's always y equals okay the last thing i want to remind you is that in this equation, we only have the x variable, and the x variable is the only axis that this line is going to cut through. 
When it's y equals 3, we only have the y, which means it's only going to cut through or intersect with the y-axis. That's how you do, that's how you graph vertical and horizontal lines. Now, go back, take your notes, copy them down, study them. If you need to watch this video again more than once, I tell you, five to ten times, and then you'll get it. Okay? Hang in there. I hope you understand this. And if you don't, watch it again, and then ask some questions. Okay? Take care. Have a great day.